Hello, welcome to another ASMR video. This one's a little bit different. In this one, I will be doing a shifting tarot reading. I do a lot of these on my TikTok, so, and a lot of people like them, so I thought I'd do a long version and this tarot reading is not only for you, but also for me. So I will have a deeper understanding of similar experiences we're going through and how we can achieve what we want. So I have a bunch of tools here that I use. Like I have the, the feather from my first ASMR video and I have crystals. I have candles, I have a lot. <laughs> but I think I want to start with the tarot reading. So that's what we're gonna do. So hopefully you're nice and relaxed. And I will do some triggers or props, whatever you want to call it, later in the video. Because they might actually have meaning later in the video in the tarot reading. Let's get into it. So I shuffled off camera, but while I was shuffling, I got that you need to revisit the first time you discovered shifting, like that time period. Just revisiting that those memories or just that period in your life where you just discovered shifting. It was this discovery that you could barely comprehend because shifting is such a complex thing and that you got... You had so much excitement and like excitement in general, but also you were excited to dive into this thing that you just discovered. So going back to that is a good thing, I'd say. It would help you a lot, I, I would think. Big yawn. I'm a little tired. And what I did is I told spirit to give me the past, present, and future. So this is the past. All these battles. So swords represent battles that you have fought. And this is your past. So past tense. So we have fought a lot of battles with shifting. And what I mean by battles is just lessons. And we've grown so much from 2022 or I, yeah, early 2022 when I discovered shifting and now I'm completely different. I have changed so much. Shifting has changed my life, but it's just helped me in so many ways that I, that's too much to explain, honestly, but Maybe having gratitude for that. Like revisiting your past, like I said earlier, when you first discovered shifting. But also being thankful for how much you've transformed. Like, just be thankful for the past and all those failed attempts, all that happened. Because it's really changed you. Not only are you closer to shifting, but you're also so much wiser and you've grown so much so much more than you perceive i believe so paying attention or bringing your intention to the past would be a good idea i would i think i'm gonna shuffle on camera this time This is the present. Okay. I see a reality. Oops. I keep yawning. I think that significance is something about shifting before you go to sleep or when you're tired 
like in the morning when you first wake up or before you go to bed at night or while you're sleeping you could shift so I think you've set some intention to shift and it's really growing I got this the seven of pentacles um you just planted a seed of some sort and it's really it's coming to fruition and it's growing oh, I'm so I'm so tired and it's like you're almost there like this is seven but I believe that it gets to ten yeah this time period okay let me think let me think while I think why don't you watch feather the blue feather Okay, I've refreshed my mind. You have a lot of stuff going on in this current reality. Oh my god, everything is like silent. Whoa. Whoa. That's very cool. If you, <laughs> that was a big yawn. If you live in Canada, you, or somewhere cold where there's snow, you probably know what I'm talking about when I say this. Do you know when it's nighttime and it's snowing and it's cold out and it's just silent? That's, that's the kind of silent that I'm feeling right now. And it's so nice. It's so calming. Apparently in the desert, it's also very silent, which I'd love to visit there. But you have a lot going on here in this current reality. Maybe you've just discovered this spark in you that wants to be self-love. I know I have. I've started this life glow up Pinterest board and I'm thinking of doing like a series of videos on YouTube, how to have a life glow up, and I've, I've really been like, actually doing shit and helping my body and my soul, and I just have so much going on. I have this YouTube channel, and then I have just life in general shit, and then I have these random, fucking life growth realizations shit, and it's like sometimes. I feel like I should shift, but I actually don't feel like shifting. I've had that sometimes. Like, I'm like, oh, I should shift. Like, I have to stay motivated. But then I'm like, I really don't feel like shifting. Like, I feel like staying in this reality. Because this reality is popping, you know? But I don't want shifting to take over this life. But I also don't want, like, to not shift you know so i don't know my hair is literally falling out what is going on okay so there's just a lot going on which i don't know i don't think that's necessarily a bad thing okay because you gotta i'm living my dream life here okay but shifting can be a part of that of that dream life okay now let's do the selenite crystal it's said that if you put this under your pillow that you can have more vivid dreams which is very cool 
but if you get a selenite crystal, make sure you do not put it in water because it's not an actual rock. Like, it will melt and disintegrate in water. I love selenite because it's such a, like, I don't know, it's such a, like, simple crystal and it's just so pretty. So I'm just gonna put this positive energy all over you. Because why not? I'm gonna send you the scent of this candle because it's so good. This is Amethyst. Okay, so we got the hangman. It might not look like it's in reverse. But it actually is, because he's hanging. And when I get these kinds of cards, especially this one, I, it always reminds me of shifting, because, like, this is your current reality. This is your CR, your DR. Like, it just, like, flips. It's like a shift. I don't know. That's what the sign for me is. So it's, like, in your desired reality. <sighs> the vibes I'm getting is, like, you think... You're going to have so much fun there. You know, like, choose a DR that you're actually going to enjoy, is what I'm getting. Like, I have a bunch of DRs. Some of them, like, I wouldn't even really go to. It's just because I watched a movie and, like, oh my god, I'd love to go there. But, like, no, I really wouldn't. <laughs> it's like... And some things can be very scary and perhaps traumatizing, and you don't want to do that to yourself. I'm just hearing be careful and choose DRs wisely. Choose DRs that you are actually will, you will enjoy, not only, but are, that are actually good for you. Like, don't go to a DR that you are kidnapped or harassed or something. Or you're killing something, like, maybe not, you know, <laughs> maybe another day. <laughs> um, instead, go to, like, educational DRs, like, where you do your passion or you learn about shit that you really want to learn, you know? And it can still be, like, from a TV show or something, you know? Just, and especially for your first DR, Mimi, don't do a spooky one because let me tell you if you have never had a shifting experience before it takes some getting used to okay the first time i had an out of body experience i panicked and returned to my body because i was too scared but that was that was like an out of body experience like i was astral projection astral projecting or I don't even know. Maybe I was shifting. I don't know. I don't really know what that was. That was the scariest one that I had because, like, I was actually doing it and I was like, I'm not ready. And then I came back. But. Sorry, I thought I, I, thought I saw something. But just go to realities that you will, that aren't. Not only are they not scary, but that you'll actually enjoy. Like, don't go to a boring-ass DR where nothing is really going on. And you just wanted to go there for that character or that person. But, like, you don't really do anything. Like, that's just boring. <laughs> because when you... what How I imagine it is when I actually wake up in my desired reality and shift there. I'm gonna be like, 
holy fuck, I just shifted. Not only, not only did I just shift, but I'm in this really cool DR and I will actually enjoy myself there. You know? So you have two bonuses. You have shifted and you have a fun DR to go explore. That's how I see it. And like, okay, I'll give you an example. I have a Criminal Minds DR, which I would, I think it would be very interesting, you know, but it would, it is not as fun as my other DRs. You know what I mean? Like, I'll shift there once I've shifted before. Okay, not for my first one. <laughs> for my first DR that I shift to. And just reminding you that this is for the present moment. And now, I, I don't know if anyone else does this, but I have this problem where I peel, this might sound gross, but I don't really care. I peel the skin off of my thumbs. I don't really know why. I don't know if it's because it's out of stress or boredom, but I, I have this fidget spinner with me. So I just thought that I'd use it in this video because it helps me not do that whatever tick. I don't know what it is. So I just thought I'd spin it for you. It's a cool fidget spinner. Then we have the Seven of Cups in reverse. So we have the Seven of Pentacles, but we also have the Seven of Cups. So that's, I think, that's kind of what, I think these two cards are giving the same vibe. Like, or it could relate to that card. There's seven things that are going for you here, seven aspects of your life in this current reality. And there's seven aspects of your life there. But maybe, perhaps they won't be the same. Perhaps not all the cups will be filled. Like maybe, maybe here you don't have a lover, but there you do. Maybe an aspect in your DR life is that you feel accepted and wanted. But maybe an aspect in this current reality life is you don't have a lover. So you are, an aspect is independence. Okay, this is getting really complicated. You're not gonna go through the same shit because it's different circumstances. If you're shifting there as the same person like I am, you're the same person and all that, but you are in a completely different reality. So your life will not be the same at all. So you will learn lessons and you will grow into this different version of yourself, is what I'm getting at. That cups one was hard to read. So that was the present moment. That was a little hard on me. I am kind of tired. Let's just say I'm excited to go to bed. But this is the perfect time to make videos because no one, literally no one is awake. Okay, this is your future. So what I'm getting is, these two cards are in reverse by the way, and these are good cards. But usually in traditional tarot reading, if you want to put it that way, reversed means the opposite of the actual meaning in the book but right now I'm just going off of my not clear cognizance it's another one where you just know you just know the vibes and I look at the pictures on it so I'm not following the traditional way 
but there is the sun card okay so what i'm seeing when cards are in reverse and when i'm doing a shifting tarot reading i see it as if they're not in reverse like this one i see it as for the cr but if they are in reverse like this one i see it as for the dr so this one's for your future now your cups are all going to be filled in your dr six of them not seven six of them three 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 the sun card the sun card literally represents pure happiness joy everything you want in life your dream life okay so you do live your dream life in your dr like look at this this naked kid riding this horse in the sun and the sun has is so pretty that kid's living his life that kid is you bitch <laughs> okay while i read this card i'm gonna i got this bracelet from my mother's friend and i really like it so i'm just gonna shake it there's evil eyes on it Okay, now I have this sound bowl, it comes in a box, it's a yin yang one, isn't that cool? So now I'm going to turn this, turn this down. Like I said earlier, you live your DR life beautifully. And six, six might be a relative number. I'm pretty sure I have six DRs, so that's, that's why it's there for me. 
but six might be relevant to you, like, maybe you're six years old, or it's been six years and you're young, or you have six friends, or something with the number six. And I'll let you look at the picture. See if it means my picture. It looks like... It looks like the plant here. Huh. Look. If I put them one underneath, one above, it looks like they're their own plant or root. That is very cool. Again, it reminds me of shifting when one's upward and one's in reverse. It reminds me of shifting, so that's a really cool thing I just saw. And this this card, for me, it represents that I have this calling to help people and to teach people cool shit like shifting. And since it's not in reverse, meaning it's in my BR, and it's in my CR, it means that I help people and educate people on how to shift because I feel like when you do shift and stuff, you, when you do the action, you can teach it better. So you help and teach and inspire others. And even if it's not, you don't talk about shifting or teach people about shifting, maybe it's a lesson you learned in one of your DRs or a realization you had in from one of your DRs or something. You just share it to the world and you help people, which is really cool. I like it a lot. So that was your future or our future. Shall I say? So next to that, <laughs> I know you're like, what? It's not over? No. No, no, no. Next to it, I just want to share this tip and also because it's an ASMR trigger but this is a journal that I write in this journal represents my heart so if I ever want to speak with my heart or intuition whatever I personif I personify it and write inside of it this isn't the journal I write in every day but I do write in it a lot so I thought I would write in it. I forgot to turn it up. So let's write in it. But is video? These are called oracle cards. They aren't necessarily tarot cards, but you can you still use them to read people, which is cool.
It's the new moon in Aries. Guess what it says? It says, go for it. Go for it. That's the first card I got. Go for it. When people tell you about shifting, talk to you about shifting, they always say, you just gotta do it. Next one is last quarter moon in Leo. It's lighten up, lighten up, lighten up, lighten up. Don't let your failed attempts and comparisons dim you down. No, 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 no. You can't compare yourself.
I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you feel a bit more enlightened about yourself and shifting. I think I do just because of the vibes, you know? And maybe just because you watched this tarot reading, it doesn't really matter what I said, it's just the fact that you watched this video, this shifting tarot reading. Maybe it helped you, it helped you too a bit. So, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I enjoy filming these videos. So if you would like more, just let me know. Or I will just record more. <laughs> okay, my love. I love you. You are so cool. You're so epic.